Scherze. Get off me, woman. This is a turn up for the books. This is mental in here. We're live um, and potentially dangerous from um, perhaps for the one of the last times the legendary Made of Vale studio MV7. Probably not sound any different down the pipe, but it's different in here. These boys put together an incredible experience for us. It's almost like being Chris Evans for a day. I'm surrounded by brilliant engineers wonderful producers. I feel cupped and served. We've got... We've got a show for you today. We've actually got a show. It's been, it's been approximately 11 years, 8 months, and 13 days, something like that, since we started on April the 2nd, 2007, and this is the final breakfast show. Hashtag content, Phil, thank you. Usual suspects, Phil Zara, here. We'll do a full rundown of everybody else later. It's going to be cloying. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be mawkish. But most of all, it's going to be fun, 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 because this is the start of our BBC Radio 6 music all-day all Christmas party. All-day Christmas party. Yes, it's our last breakfast show, but we're having a couple of weeks off, and then we're coming goddamn well back, uh, but not in this slot. So it will be like happy sad, wabby sabby. I'm actually pumped to the max, though, right now. Paris was one of the first ever breakfast show records of the week, back when we could be bothered doing them, before we lost all our energy. Uh, we've got too much to tell you about. Just be there for us. We've got a live audience coming after 8 o'clock. It's going to be sensational. I promise you that much. And we've got a very special guest who I've not even mentioned yet. He's not a guest. He's actually... A central tenet of the show. It was really, really, really nice. We are going to be reunited imminently. The last ever Matt Everett intro is coming up after Thundercat. For a bit of rough and tumble. Uh, uh, Thundercat and Bad Bad Not Good and Flying Lotus uh, with King of the Hill there on BBC Radio 6 Music. Ten minutes past seven. And, um, oh, somebody did ask for... Uh, so, you know, last, last day of the breakfast show... That sounds just coming with a massive box of cakes. 
fantastic. Some sing, ladies and gentlemen. Some sing about you. I don't know who's... I, I, I've kind of kept it... Um, I've stayed away from the, the, the organisational might of Phil Smith on this last day because I just wanted a lot of things to be surprises, but I know for a fact... Ho, 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 ho. We've got, I said, live audience after eight. We've uh, cherry-picked some of the longest-serving and longest-suffering listeners to be here with us for the final push. That's going to be good when we'll be talking to them. But we, it's all about... It is mostly about you lot anyway. We've got a massive pile of missives to get through. It's going to be self-serving and full of self-regard from 7 till 10. I'm pretty sure Ed Harcourt... Uh, not as has been spelled, uh, misspelled on the uh, form Ed Hardcourt, uh, which who is a totally different guy. He's the guy. He's the uh, professional tennis player from Bishop Stortford. Uh, Ed Harcourt, though, uh, is going to be here doing a few Christmas songs for us. We've got some old friends of the show popping in, making an appearance here and there. It's going to be a maze balls. Carl says, I can't help but wonder how long it will take for you to realise that after 11 years your sleep pattern is so permanently screwed, you'll never be able to lie in. But I wish you luck with it. If you ever do get a well-deserved lie-in, my earworms, thank you for the days. Life kinks. Remember, we need your earworms. We're going to be doing that for the last time. Definitely. Not doing them again after that. Last ever Hill Street Blues link coming up in a bit. The man's doing them next week. <laughs> Let's take the edge off it. David says, my last ever breakfast show here when slightly made up is two of us by the Beatles, along with a McCartney cartwalk clip just in case it falls out of the box during the move. Um, okay, well, you, I suppose we can have that if I can find it a bit later on. I'm getting a little bit of cartwall blindness, as you can un probably understand at this point, because uh, it's getting all a bit panicky. McCartney! Who the hell do you think you are? Mark says, I hope, um, how will I ever cope without writing these daily earworm emails? Thanks for the marvellously miserable entertainment. My final earworm, for your, it's final earworm, for your deliberation, is the rather lovely juxtaposed with you by the super furry animal, Pines of Timmy Taylor Landlord. It's from Mark. Serena says, good morning, I was wondering if you would give us a mention to my Mark on what is his Rossi birthday, that being his 46th year. He will be listening avidly and we will miss waking with you in the mornings. Lots of love and luck to you on this, this special day. Sent from a narrow boat. You even get Wi-Fi on a narrow boat but you can't in my front room, isn't that funny? Blur and Fool's Day, speaking of which, the return of Matt Everett, imminently. Wake up straight.
Music. Now, a ratchet up a notch. Iggy Pop. From Alternative Land. On BBC Radio 6 Music. So you've been hanging out with your radio, and on came that. That's a hell of a nice riff. <laughs> Trying to get down to the roots, the hard stuff, the core. Yeah. Getting together, listening to the space, listening to the light, listening to the world turn, and then putting a little music into that together. That's the way music should sound, according to me. This is Iggy Confidential. Tonight from 7 on BBC Radio 6 Music. I am out for the walk and I will not be back till the staining the skin. This is how I chose to talk with some violent hits, violent blossoms again. Every night I do walk. Christine and the Queens of the Walker on BBC Radio 6 Music. It's the last ever BBC Radio 6 Music Sean Keaveney Breakfast Show. My God, this is so special. Right onion rings. Uh, let's have a little look here. Please get in contact, 64046 and that. We are going to have a live studio audience uh, after 8 o'clock. And, uh, we'll tweet some photographs because the boys have festooned this place in such a phenomenal way. You won't believe it. Um... There's a sort of Tron thing going on uh, around the, the window. There's steps. There's like half concrete, half wooden steps because this used to be a drama studio. So you could do Foley sound effects. And it's, apparently it's built on, a, on colossal springs, this place. Actually true. And uh, there's a river running underneath it. Actual facts. The legendary Maida Vale Studios. Just giving it that, that sort of important mystery. And we're going to... And now it's us. The greats have been in here. From Bing Crosby 
to Crosby, Stills and Nash. And now it's us two clowns. There's a river underneath. There's a literal river underneath. A river runs through it. The voice of Matt Everett. Throw a towel over him. We're not ready for him yet. Ed Hernandez says, I've been listening to your show since your first one. Is, this, is, this has been sent from West Hollywood, California. The home of film. Excited to listen to your new time slot. Well, don't get excited yet. You might get good one day. Your show will air live on my morning drive to work at 8 a.m. KRFWCFS FM. I hope to hear you sing Hill Street Blues and a theme from Taxi and hear you do your classic Sex and the City impression. Oh, my God. Um, that's that. We've got loads of them to come, but uh, he's been away for two months on from here to paternity. And he's back for the last show. And we have to, I've had two, I've had eight glorious weeks off having to spend an hour a day carving out an introduction for this man. But the time has come. It is, it is time. The prodigal son hath returneth. So there has to be an introduction fitting for the moment. I'm, I'm sort of over egging the pudding a bit here. Just a bit. But no, there's only eight seconds of this bed left. You might as well let it go. <laughs> That's production. Winner breaks the fall. Green turns to orange. Turns to red all over the hills. The sky turns black and the ground turns white. Ground so hard, fear snaps the shaft of your snow speed. Lost 13 head of cattle with blight and cold. 12 hour days, and so red while I fall to my knees and I scream at the black sky, Why did you deserve me? What did I do to make you go? But it's there, that knowing, that sensation, and I look up at the crown of the hill, past the dead trees, and the dead fields, and the dead dreams, and it's you, and I run to you, and I fall into your arms, and as I kiss the salty tears from your eyes, I say, you need leave me again, boy. Don't you need leave me again. How have you been? All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Eight weeks. Oh, come on. Don't get chippy. Well. Uh, look, I had a pretty good excuse. Not that I'd call my child an excuse. <laughs> Little BB. Little BB. It's not like you've been uh, luxuriating in uh, nine hour sleeps, I imagine, with a with a tiny newborn. No. But you've probably still had more than we've had for the last eight. This weeks, is true. And the and the the screaming and the vomit and the uh, yeah, I'm, so, I'm really and sorry about sorting, that. And someone sorting themselves is uh, it's, you know that I've had to put up with you is is just been transferred to somebody else. <laughs> How. That, I mean, it had to be broke back, didn't it? Really? Well, I texted you last night, then I was like, I'm a bit stuck here. I don't know what I don't know what to go for because you know, you could have had Miley Cyrus. You know, you could have had that because she's back in the news. I thought we could do that. People have been tweeting about what what the final um, my intro should be, and because it's been over three thousand of those. <laughs> I'm seriously. That's the not the count over been. three thousand. Over three thousand. Oh God, it's, it's just a, it's a sign of mania, isn't it? People were saying Rupert Murdoch. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. And people were even tweeting ones that I don't even remember us doing. Someone said, "Oh, you've got a couple of people said you've got to do the one that's Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath doing yeah. Antiques Roadshow." So we, I don't remember that. What a shame we've not Where dug did that, that out. From? That was just <laughs> hold on. We we'll just uh, we sat so there in the studio and I just came out with this look, you know. Um, it's all mental. It really and truly is. It's so. It's such an. Georgie Rogers has been an absolute ledge, though. To be perfectly fair, I, she really and truly has, and she's actually turned up here as well. Just in case you have a heart attack live on air. I mean, you know, everybody's got a ringer, by the way. Claire oh, Runner, because right. he's in, just in case James falls. It's a bit, you know, the cartwheel. I, for instance, if, if you've got a cartwheel request today, send it in on 64046. Just so as you know, I travel everywhere with that, but on a different plane. 
in case that goes, in case one of the planes goes down. Like the nuclear football. Very much so. Um, but yeah, it's just it's wonderful to have you here it's good for to be back. for the festivities. It's an all day Christmas party. It is our last breakfast show, but we're doing it with a smile on our face and a spring in our step. Have you got any music news? We're we going to do any. Not much point, really, is there? We're going to do a little bit. Just a splash. Just a, just a little tincture. All right. That'll do me. Uh, we are going to play up to the news now. It's not like me. I've messed up the timing a little bit. I'm a bit early. But we're going to play <laughs> one of my favourite songs of all time, one of my parents' favourite songs of all time. Oh, no. It was on the Drifter's Greatest Hits album that I've still got at home, the, the 33 and a third RPM, that my dad bought in 1971. And I know they'll be listening. And I know they'll love it. And this is for you, John and Billy. This is The Drifters, Saturday night at the movies. Well, Saturday night at eight o'clock, I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick my baby up and take her to the picture show. Everybody in the world Dressing up to be there too And we're gonna have a ball Just like we always do Saturday night at the movies Who cares what picture you see When you're hugging with your baby Let's row in the balcony Well, there's technicolor and the cinema scope a cast out of Hollywood And the popcorn from the candy stand Makes it all seem twice as good There's always lots of pretty girls With figures they don't try to hide But they never can compare To the girl sitting by my side Saturday night at the movies you see When you're with your baby Last row in the balcony One of the best songs ever, isn't it? Now I'm messing about. Now I'm messing about. I'm standing up now. I'm just saying, like, I mean, it, it does matter what picture you see. I mean, that's, that's why it does. <laughs> I mean, there's a flaw in that song. Yeah. We were... Yeah, we yeah. went to watch. Uh, <laughs> we went to watch the uh, that that new Gallipoli one. It was rubbish. Yeah, you're right. Actually, you've got to, you've got to choose well. Yeah, um, waste of money if not. It's, an, it's a lot now, isn't it? As well, exactly. Four of you, fifty two pounds. That's before you get any popcorn. You must be joking. I mean, they could you know redo it for streaming on Netflix and stuff like that, but it wouldn't be the same. Well, we, let's retool that uh, for the Netflix generation, shall we? Saturday night watching Netflix. Who cares what picture you see? Sean, aside from the Bob Dylan feature in the opening weeks, you've been brilliant. From reading almost every one of the kids' birthday messages to your patients when myself and the girls effusively praised you and Matt at Latitude, safe travels and catch you in the afternoon. Finn, Hazel, Ion and Edie in Broccoli. Listen a hot spot. It is now 7.30. Uh, we've got the last ever Hill Street Blues Bed link coming up, but right now it is time for the news with James. Think music. This is BBC Radio. Six Music. BBC News. The EU has insisted that the Brexit withdrawal agreement is not up for renegotiation. But after talks with Theresa May in Brussels, the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, expressed the EU's determination to reach a final trade deal quickly enough to avoid the need for the Irish border insurance policy known as the backstop. The Democratic Unionist Party MP, Emma Little-Pengelly, said it didn't look like the Prime Minister had secured enough concessions on the backstop to win her party support for the deal. That's in the legally binding text. Therefore, any assurances that are given to the Prime Minister must be as strong as what's in the legally binding text. 
Ofcom has said one in seven UK homes could be paying too much for their broadband and could get faster coverage for the same or less money. The regulator is also considering forcing providers to tell customers when their contracts are up so they can start shopping around for other deals. A former British soldier who was convicted in Turkey of being a member of a terrorist organisation has made a secret return to the UK. Joe Robinson was facing more than seven years in prison for serving as a medic alongside Kurdish fighters in Syria. The passing of a bill legalising abortion in the Republic of Ireland has been hailed as an historic moment for women by the country's Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar. The legislation will come into effect in January. Senator Ronan Mullen, who supports the ban on abortion, said it was a sad day. It has always been wrong to say that this was only a matter of whether people had abortion abroad or had abortion at home. We've not had sufficient emphasis and realisation of just how many lives were saved because of the Eighth Amendment. The private company Capita has failed to meet any British Army recruitment target since taking over enrolment six years ago. A National Audit Office report found recruits were dropping out because of IT problems and the weather a cold and frosty start, but it'll be dry and bright for most. That's the Six Music News, the next updates at eight. Six Music now on BBC Sound. Six Music. Sean, 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 it's Craig. It's Craig, mate. She wanted to say, well done for a stellar turn all those early mornings. Mate, you, you've put them to bed, haven't you? You've put them to bed all those early mornings. You'll be able to have a lion now. And do you know what I'm going to miss? I'm going to miss covering for you because I've never found anyone who it was easier to replace, to be honest. Uh, but enjoy the afternoons. Have a lion. Uh, well deserved. And to be fair... I really will miss you in the morning, mate.
yeah, 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 yeah. From 2012, Inhaler by Foles. Sexy. Very sexy. You're mm. sexy. You're sexy. No, you're sexy. No, you're sexy. <laughs> you're sexy. Go on. I am. Go on. Oh my God. Have there you it seen is. His ox blood. Do it. His ox blood shoes. Do it. Oh no. Go Don't on. make Yay. me. Oh, stop it. Don't make me. Oh God. I'm going to do it. Oh, in front of all these people? You want me to do it in front of all these people? You're such a voyeur. Oh, stop. Oh, don't stop. You know when I say stop, I mean carry on. But no, you have to stop now because it's the end of your tenure. I'm at the end of my tether. And I love it there. All right. Uh, for the last time ever. Hill Street Blues. Hill Street Blues. The last one now. Hill Street Blues, Hill Street Blues, it's bloody Hill Street Blues. It served as well, this bed, hasn't it? You remember, it became a thing, didn't it? It wasn't a thing, and then it became a thing. It's the thing I would like to impart to young radio professionals coming up in the game. Uh, M- Mr. Sean, please impart some. Please impart some bon mots, some words of wisdom from your incredible mind. Said no one ever. Mm. Quite right. Nobody has ever said that. But if they did, yeah. I would say, try to make things things. You know what I mean by that? <laughs> try to make a thing a thing. Right. So instead of just doing it once, just oh. keep doing it repeatedly. It's a Mark and Lard thing, repeat till funny. And even and then carry on repeating it until it's not funny anymore. And then it's really, really annoying. And then it makes people angry and makes them defenestrate the DABs. And then keep doing it, and then eventually it becomes funny again. Are you talking about water torture or...? <laughs> Yes, yeah. uh, it is a bit like that, isn't it? I'm yeah. sorry. Also, I love the fact that there's like at least 40% of the audience have never heard of Hill Street Blues, yeah. don't even know what that is. Well, our Same 18 as... to 25 demographic weren't born when it was on. Same as the Rockford Files theme. Yeah. Like, no one really watched the programme ever. It's just going to be using the Celebrity Love Island bed from now on. I recently had an MRI during which they played your show to drown out the monotonous noise. I'm not sure they thought that through properly. But anyway, thanks for being there, and good luck in the new show, Debs in Southampton. Thank you for the... Words of encouragement, Debs. Morning, Sean. I'm sorry to see you leave the morning show. You are the reason I've bought various dab radios and cars with dab capability in recent years. So basically, all you've done is cost me money. Where do I send the bill? My you is Don't Give Hair to Chance by Jamiroquai. We were going to uh, play the hatted superstar, um, the Titford superstar at some point during the programme, but then we lost the space. Charles says, thank you. Thanks for all the paper scrunching. Nobody else does that. That's my thing. I don't mean you're allowed to do it, but I mean, uh, John Humphreys don't do that. You know, Chris Evans doesn't do that. I do that. That's my thing. See, thing. It's a thing, and I do it. It's not much of a broadcasting legacy, though, is it, really? That's going on. That's going on. I'm going to tap that out on the stone myself. Here lies Sean Keaveney, the man who did the paper scrunching thing. Thanks for all the mumbling and grumbling, for the fumbling with the cart wall, for the unforgettable dead air. Let's not forget that. Bit of that. Have you ever seen four engineers at once panic? It's a really wonderful thing to see. Thank you to Guy and Paul and Simone. Mornings will never be as unprofessional again. My last year was Don't Look Back by the Fine Young Cannibals. Uh, I know this is little chance of being found amongst the billions and billions of goodwill messages you'll receive today, but thanks for making the last five years of my listenership enjoyable. Any chance of a good luck, Fred Durst, for my mate Henry going for a job interview in Birmingham today, says Jack. Without question. Now I know why you want to hate me. Because hate has a level of... Tube sex! When you take them in sort of isolation and think about all these different elements... It's just ridiculous. I don't isn't know it? what you're talking about. It's my again. It's my broadcast legacy. Hey you, you with the teeth. Uh, Simon says, uh, any chance of one last? It's not working, mate. Now a staple phrase in our house uh, for anything that's ever gone wrong. Let's see if I can find it. Sentient cart wall. Can you summon it for me, please? It's not working, mate. There you go. Oh, he's like a magician on that cart wall. <laughs> oh, he's like a magician, Gene. He's like the Fred Astaire of the cart wall, Gene. Chris says good luck, Sean, with the future, but... The future? 
Oh no, God, please don't. Good luck no. with the future! Oh no, that's wrong. <laughs> Good luck with the future! Hello, future Sean. Hello, past Matt. What what is going to happen in the immediate future? Ooh, in the immediate future, there will be an eventual end to this torturous link, but not for another three minutes. Uh, any chance? Oh, Michael Jackson's pretty young thing is a pretty good earworm, as a matter of fact, uh, from Chris Murray's head. But he says, any chance? of getting a bit of Johnny Rotten on there. Yes, I suppose so. Nothing, a rude word. Next question. OK. Well, listen, uh, keep your, please keep your missives coming, 64046. We've got the live audience hitting the, hitting the, the springs in the next few minutes. Hill Street Blues, the last time for Hill Street Blues, Street Blues, Street Blues. It was a moment, wasn't it? This has been a traumatic and tempestuous week across the UK. The fallout has seen discussions and conjecture amongst communities all over the United Kingdom, from strong and stable at the top of a thriving schedule to a weak and chaotic at this vital time of change. It has, for many reasons, been a very tough few days. But for Six Music listeners, what does... Hashtag breakfast, as it really mean. The BBC political correspondent Ben Wright has this report from Westminster. It's the time no one thought would come, the end of an era. Breakfast exit is finally here. The breakfast show's exit from, not the EU, but from you, the dear Six Music listener. 11 years, 8 months and 12 days from Sean Keaveney's entry into the BBC, we all finally have to look at his exit. And, according to many, this is the best possible deal for the United Kingdom. Yet many have been left shell-shocked by the news that UK citizens will still be subjected to 15 hours of radio a week from the man once memorably described by Kenneth Clark as a total cretin. The details of a mooted Matt Stop negotiation has failed, as we hear that Matt Everett will also be exiting the breakfast show and moving to what Boris Johnson has described as the sunlit uplands, the green and garlanded valleys of mid-afternoon digital audio broadcast. At this time, it is unclear to us as to whether Keaveney and Everett will or will not be members of the EU come the 29th of March, but one thing is for sure, they certainly are members. After the breakfast exit, there'll be no adherence to the European Court, but Small Claims Court will still be in session into the afternoons. There will also be a rough trade agreement, but of course other record labels are available, and luckily, this being a music-based agreement, there will be absolutely no David Davis, but quite a lot of Dave Davies. All that said, despite the uncertainty going into 2019, if you're looking for a mandate, Matt and Sean are still your best bet. With or without EU, U2, Toto, R2-D2. And without having a Scooby-Doo, these two are, come what may, clearly going to be your afternoon delight for many years to come. But the question remains, does breakfast exit really represent the will of the people? Ben Wright, BBC News, Westminster.
It's so beautiful. It really is the greatest, uh, the greatest Beirut song I've heard this morning. It's so beautiful. I want to build a wall all the way around it. Just keep it for myself. Gallipoli, absolutely gorgeous. Bit of muted trumpet, you can't whack it. Uh, so Dimbleby does a one-hour slot every now and then and makes the BBC 9 o'clock news. While the institution that is keeping his breakfast show doesn't even get a look in on 560-second bulletin. Um, by the way, I think Harry Cornflake did get a look in on the BBC News on Departure, on the ginger one, on the, the one that did the hour tune thing, just saying it's a cruel world, missing you already, I forgot who you are, Art and Hogs, Tez. What, this isn't, this isn't on the main news channel? It's, <laughs> it's on the ring, they have, a, they have a thing at the BBC called the Ring Main, which is like the internal <laughs> television service, and everybody sits round. When Lord Hall's not fixing our sixth floor coffee machine... Uh, he'll often do a, a, a little speech from there. We all sit around and watch it. Look, look children sitting on the wireless. And I believe we're on the ring main right now. We're not. Hello, sailor. Uh, it's time for... Six music. Music news. Music news with Matt Everett. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It's almost like you're on the back of the sheepdog. I've got to say thank you to Georgie Rogers for what so a, capably... What a truly awesome woman. Yeah, well done, Fantastic Georgie. broadcaster. Just there. Good work. Uh, yeah, final final music news on breakfast. And um, we're actually, let's just get on with it. So it's the next in our six music presenter albums of the year series. And today we're introducing your choice, Sean. So what? it's you. What? And your album of 2018 that you've selected is Led Zeppelin 4 by Led Zeppelin. It's not. He's, he always does this. It's not. I mean, I do listen to other things, you know. It isn't actually. It is Stephen Malkmus and the Jigs yeah. album Sparkle Hard. Stephen Malkmus, obviously, formerly of Pavement. This is his seventh album, Helming the Jigs. Came out back in May. Uh, Kim Gordon's on the track, actually. A song called Refute. So to find out more about the album and why you love it so much, here is Danny Wallace. No, not really. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Hello, it's BBC Radio 6 Music's Sean Keevney here and uh, one of my favourite albums of the year, 2018, uh, was Sparkle Hard by Stephen Malkmus and the Jicks. Time gets to me and I it's just a brilliant album, isn't it? The air apparent just might try start to finish it's a strong album you do, I don't think you get that many albums these days where you could just put any track on and enjoy it um, but it's just such a melodic uh, piece of work it's it's lyrically it's idiosyncratic it's funny it's kooky it's rocking it's it's just really satisfying you know the sort of po really sort of pretty and reflective Parts of the, the the album like solid silk. Make up an innocent average girl, kissing under prairie moon. No one knows. Great space rock coders. Um, Maltmus is playing is just awesome throughout. Another beautiful bike plan. They played in the kitchenette for Lauren just a couple of months ago, and they just made such a phenomenal noise. Just the three of them. Um, it's a beautiful piece of work and that's why it's one of my favourite albums of the year well enough of him uh, great record though fantastic that was just a little bit of the show of you talking you again it wasn't just it just a little, little black hole uh, opened up in space time then so yeah that was the last music news on the breakfast show um, I have to say thank you again I mentioned Georgie Rogers Georgie Rogers and all the other amazing people that have done music news and helped out Claire Crane she won Elizabeth Orca the brilliant Elizabeth Orca but yeah that's it the other bit of music news is that this isn't the last music news that I'll be doing with you because like a long faced limpet <laughs> clinging on to a big round oh no round faced rock yeah. I will be coming with you doing daily music news in the news show in the afternoon in the new slot. It's a rebrand. Which is pretty exciting. Up and Adam. Um, it, it, yeah, it's been, it's been a really long time. It's been it, a thing, hasn't it? It's been a thing. I was thinking about this. So I was trying to think about what to say and about what people don't know about the show. And I think for, there's no script. That's the thing that yeah. people keep on saying when I meet them. It's like, oh, you know, how long does it take Sean to write it? It's like, he doesn't. It just makes it up. And also, you never get used to the time. No. 
So how long have you been doing it? Oh, you must get used to it. No, though. you don't. No, you don't. No. You never, ever get used to it. And it is, we don't work in a Victorian tin mine, but it is, it has been really, really difficult at times. It's, it's a, there's, a, it, there's a great vulnerability to this time of day. Yeah. It's like coming up from the bottom of the sea to get up and out of the duvet and get out of the house. And everybody feels the same way about that. It's like having the bends every morning. But we have loved it. We have loved it. There's, there was a couple of people that tweeted sort of saying, oh, you know, like I started listening when I was at school. You know, and now I'm at college and now I'm at uni and stuff like that. And it's kind of amazing to think about that distance. Um, and we've loved it. You know, I've loved doing music news on this show. I think the other thing is that what that people ask me is all about, oh, what's Sean really like? Is he really that miserable? You can't say it on air, though, because you would get pulled off air if you well, said the word. This is the thing. And I think everybody that, that's kind of done this, it's... Lots of other presenters, and I don't mean this as a disservice, and maybe not on six, but people have a kind of persona to keep sane when they go on air, and it's their kind of character. But with you, it's not. It's just you. Oh, no. It is just you. I don't think there's a lot of separation. There's any separation between who you are when, you know, you're just in the pub or people bump into you. And we were on the show, and I, said, I think when other people do that, have a facade or have a pretense to keep them sane, and you don't, which is probably why you've gone loopy. Absolutely bat nuts. But I think that's also why you're so brilliant at it. Totally because guano. Because it's real. Well, I, I appreciate that so much. I've, I've got some very kind words in the locker for you as well. And it is, I told you it would be clawing a mortgage all the way through, and, and that we've stuck to that promise. But it's not the end of the music news. I'll be coming with you. You don't shake me off that easily. There will thank be you. more. I thank God for that. Um, that's a limpet on my bottom that I want to stay there for the rest of my <laughs> broadcast time on Earth. Um, we're going to do two very quick songs here because we're going to do Refute from Malchus and the Jicks, Sparkle Hard, into the Earworm. Typical of the shambolic broadcasting of the Six Music Breakfast Show that we have to cut this fantastic record short that I've just been eulogising about. Refute from uh, Malcolm and the Jixx's brilliant Sparkle Hard album. Buy it for a brother, for a sister for Christmas to do the uh, last ever earworm. Tommy Aberdeen, Telegraph Road, Dire Straits. 
15 minutes of absolute fabulousness. Monkey gone to heaven. Back those pixies. His dick is here. I think he's coming in. Joe in Mexico City is listening. Billy Preston's round in circles. Is Jeff. Sarah Asprey's uh, got Nancy Sinatra banging on about her boots. But the one we're going to go with is this. Uh, uh, because we're going to have some now. The audience is about to uh, hit the springs. And the uh, all-day Christmas party at Six Music is in full swing. Have we got any port? Why have we not had any port yet? <laughs> 